Morning, guys. So quite an early video this morning. It's 20 to 5, much earlier perhaps than I normally do a live video. Uh, but I've been up since just before 4 o'clock. Not been sleeping as well as normal recently, just a lot on my mind. Um, from the challenges of homeschooling four kids, uh, essentially running the house. My, my wife is mega busy at the moment, so I do 80, 90 percent of the housework, cooking, etc. So cooking 100 odd meals per week, ironing clothes for six people, walking the dog. On top of supporting 100 odd ninjas, uh, all the things that need to be done there. Just a, a lot of my mind at the moment. It's not sleeping quite as well as normal. Um, and one thing I was doing as I lay awake at just before four o'clock was questioning some of the things I'm doing at the moment. Questioning whether they're the right things to do, whether I should continue with them. A few things I'd, I've been doing and stopped doing, not necessarily consciously, but should get back to doing them. And just feeling perhaps that some of these things aren't worthwhile. And whenever we start to feel about something, what probably that means is that we don't really have any data behind it. We don't have any cold, hard facts. Data always trumps drama. Actually having the facts as to whether or not something's working, being able to measure it, being able to get, you know, essentially that feedback from actual data and facts and information is always way more powerful. Um, so, for example, with marketing, what we've always done at Rise is Facebook ads because not necessarily saying they're the perfect way to get new members, but they've got trackability. I can always see for every pound we put into them, how many people express an interest. You put their email address in, essentially hold their hand up, say, I'd like to find out a little bit more. I can work out what proportion of those people then take the next step, the next step, end up joining and so on. So I can work out if they are working or not. I know exactly what the return on investment is on Facebook ads, whereas I don't necessarily on some of the stuff you can do on social media. You know, these live videos, stuff we put on stories, I'm sure they have impact, but it's not very trackable. And again, when you don't have data, you're just left with drama. It starts to feel like it's not working. It starts to feel like it's not worthwhile. And again, anytime we start a sentence with feel, it means we don't really have any solid information. And that's why we recommend tracking our food with my fitness pal, ideally, because it gives us that cold, hard data. It gives us actual information. Because without that, again, we're just kind of guessing. Many, many times over the last nearly 20 years, I've been talking to people about their food and the sentence will start with, I, I feel, I feel I need to eat like this. Um, I feel this isn't working. And again, whenever we say I feel, there's no real information behind it. Whenever we vaguely describe the way we eat, it's really hard to get any concrete feedback on that. If we can accurately track for maybe three to five days what we're actually eating and then correlate that to our results or lack thereof, then we've got something to work on. If someone tracks what they're eating in my fitness pal and that equates to X amount of weight loss, that builds confidence. It builds momentum. We know it's working. If they accurately track, and it's not leading to weight loss, we know there's something missing there. We can look at the process. We can look at what needs to be changed and tweaked and refined. If someone isn't accurately tracking, we can get them accurately tracking. But again, it just gives us actual data. So anytime you feel something's not working, anytime you essentially say to yourself or someone else, some version of that, again, there's no actual facts behind it. We're just kind of guessing. Anytime we say, I feel we are just guessing. So what can you do to get data behind that? Whether it be the equivalent of tracking Facebook ads, actually recording calorie intake with my fitness pal and maybe activity levels with a wearable tracker, whether it be a, a KPI at work, whether it be number of date nights with the other half to improve the relationship, whether it be number of sales calls made at work, whether it be number of runs done versus personal best, whatever it may be. If we're saying it feels like it's not working, again, we're just kind of guessing. How can we get more accurate on that?